Dear friends, welcome to Learning About. In this video, I am going to solve the general intelligence and reasoning questions from the latest SSC JE papers. Now, the last time SSC JE it was held during the fourth week of March 2021, and before that it was held uh, in October 2020, right? Now, so in this video, I'll be solving uh, a particular, you know, like uh, uh, a day paper shift one uh, of uh, 23rd March. I'll be uh, solving. Okay, there are 50 questions. Uh, but in this video, I'll be solving about 25 questions. Now, if you look at the pattern before we move on to the questions, okay, if you look at the pattern, uh, so paper one, you have like computer based examination, uh, there are 200 questions and 200 marks, 100 questions, uh, your core, you know, like uh, paper and then like 50 questions, general awareness, 50 marks and 50 questions reasoning. Okay. Now in our channel learning about, we have videos related to aw general awareness and, you know, like uh, uh, reasoning, right? And uh, the videos are available in English as well as, you know, like uh, uh, Tamil. And uh, so you have, please remember, uh, each question carries one mark and there is negative mark of like one fourth uh, for wrong answers. Okay. For there is negative mark one fourth, there is 0.25 uh, negative marks. Right. Now, so among the 50 questions of this particular paper, I, I'll, I'll be solving like 25 uh, questions. Okay. Now, before, you know, like again, uh, further before uh, we move uh, to the questions, now, this is the syllabus that is given now this syllabus actually uh, all these 50 questions you can categorize into like four questions okay one is like visual uh, based you know like uh, uh, questions then questions based on alphabet you know like uh, sequence okay alphabet the position of uh, uh, the letter in the alphabetical sequence and then number series based you know like uh, number based logical questions and then like miscellaneous like uh, blood relationship direction sense uh, seating arrangement etc right now if you look at the 50 questions in this particular paper you have like eight questions from visual you know like and then uh, alphabet related like 17 questions and number uh, related like 14 questions and then like miscellaneous there are about 11 uh, uh, questions okay right now if you want to further split up now here uh, at this point you can pause the video and look at the uh, details okay like topic wise okay so like for example you have syllogisms you know like i'm not saying only exactly this number of questions you will get but this is uh for this particular paper okay now this is merely a suggestion like like how many uh, questions you can expect in each topic okay now one more you know like a word of uh, uh, caution before i uh, go into the questions see uh this march 2021 paper uh this paper is actually uh, relatively very easy now, if you look at uh, October 2020, the questions asked in October 2020. Now, that was not very easy because uh, even if you look at some of the feedback, you know, like uh, that uh, some of our friends have given you know, for these videos, okay. So, the questions were actually uh, tough. But if you look at uh, prior to that, okay, like in 2019 and all, it was easy. Now, 2019 papers I have solved, 2020 it's already there, okay. Now, this is uh, 2021, okay. So, you can make a comparison for yourself, uh, the three uh, sets of you know like uh, papers and then you can decide it for yourself but you know like based on feedback and based on what i have observed okay only march i mean october 2020 was a little bit of uh, a tough in the sense time consuming okay so it was very much you know like you can very much solve but it was like time consuming okay but whereas if you look at uh, 2019 or 2021 it was to the level like where you can score easily like 50 out of 50 and with, within that stipulated time that is how it was okay Right, so that's one more thing that I wanted to uh, add, and you know, like, uh, so solving, you know, like this SSCJE, like, uh, it's special in the sense that this was one of the uh, first, you know, like videos that I made in October 2020. Okay, so uh, that is the first time, you know, like I, I mean, when I started the channel, my earlier videos were related to SSCJE, and then subsequently, like other SSC exams, and then like placement exams, and so on. Okay, so now. Let me move on to the first, you know, like question. So first question is a logic uh, number uh, operation based, you know, like uh, uh, question, wherein you have, you know, like uh, set of uh, five numbers on your on the left, and then uh, on the right side you have the result. Now in place of these asterisk, you know, like uh, symbols, you have to replace with the any of the uh, four answer choices. Okay, so which has the symbols related to addition subtraction multiplication and division all right now uh, so you have division in all four okay so now just look at these numbers if at all if you can 
fit in division okay i i think it is only possibility is here okay only possibility is here because in other places the other numbers are for example 5 here it is not divisible by any of these you know like i mean it, it cannot divide any of the numbers before the 32 uh, cannot divide any i mean divide any of the numbers before similarly 92 which is a product of 23 and, and 4 okay now this cannot divide any of the numbers here so only possibility is here so you should get division symbol here okay so 252 divided by 9 right so which means option 1 and option 4 are out you are left with option 2 and 3 okay so 252 into 9 right and in the option if you see you have multiplication even otherwise even without answer choice you can still guess right uh, the next is 9 so now 252 by 9 it's 28 28 into 5 is like 140 then you have 32 and 92 right and the output is 200 okay so you know very well this should be like my uh, minus okay because you have 200 which is like 60 right uh, so this should be like a uh, uh, plus right so now this 30 minus 32 and 92 it is uh, 60 plus 60 so 140 plus 60 equal to 200 lhs and rhs they are matching so the answer uh, is answer option three right so first uh, uh, should be division operation then multiplication operation then subtraction then addition okay now this should be the sequence to get uh, uh, the result of 200 so first question is a very easy question answer option 3 is the answer for the first question now the second question another number logic based question okay so the question is which can replace uh, which number can replace the question mark okay so we have to find what is the logic that is connecting the three or rather what is the logic connecting the two right now uh, so when i look at three and five okay so three into five is 15 15 minus two is 13 now that's what i uh, comes to my mind but when i look at 11 and 4 uh, 11 into 4 is 44 44 and 27 they are not direct I mean they are not closely related okay so maybe i'll check this uh, 11 plus 4 is uh, 15 15 into 2 is 30 okay now 30 minus 3 is 27 now let me check uh, if i have get similar relationship here so 3 plus uh, 5 is 8 8 into 2 is 16 16 uh, minus 3 is 13 okay right so this could be the logic uh, here so in which case now 21 plus the question mark okay now which you if you multiply by 2 and then subtract the outcome by 3 now you should get 75 so which means uh, 21 pl plus the question mark okay so into 2 is equal to 78 so 21 plus question mark is equal to 39 okay that is this 3 if it goes this side you get 78 now this uh, this is multiplication here if it comes this side it becomes division okay it's 29 so 21 plus uh, x is uh, 39 so the question mark or rather x is equal to 18 okay that's answer option two for the second question a third question is a visual based you know like question based on position of a cube so they are given like three uh, uh, positions of uh, three different positions of the same dice right uh, so dice is in a form of a cube uh, now what is asked is which is the face that is opposite to 3 that's very easy here because see you can get the uh, result uh, here based on just you know like uh, 1 and 3 itself so just ignore you know like the second you know like uh, position because see 1 and 2 uh, 1 and 3 only I'm considering because 1 is on the same side okay 1 is on the same side so what has happened here if 1 is on the same side okay uh, let's say we are facing one right this three is on the top okay but here in the third position two is on the top which means right and here two is in the uh, to our right okay so two is uh, to our right okay so what has happened is the easy guess it has been flipped you know like uh, one side okay flipped you know like uh, uh, one side so which means this two which which was our which was on our right okay has come to the top and three which was on the top which has has gone to our left okay on the right okay so from this position to this position if you go for one flip this three on the top goes to uh, our left okay and uh, two which was on our right okay comes to the top and 
4 is on the right now which means 4 was in the bottom okay 4 was in the bottom right uh, so 3 is on the top 4 is on the bottom so opposite is 4 or you can say now if you are facing 1 3 is to our left okay and 4 is to our right okay so 3 and 4 in the opposite so opposite of 3 is 4 so answer option 4 uh, 4 is the answer for the third question now the fourth question is an alphabet sequence based question see uh, for these questions okay though you you may some of you might look at it as a uh, a roundabout way right now for questions of this kind okay so i kind of you know like uh, write the position of the alphabet in the alphabet sequence okay so that is i i write something like this okay so and you know like i'll mark probably like e s 5 j s 10 o s 15 and t s 20 okay by now i kind of remember all the positions but still for you know like for better you know like clarity i try to write it down because see there are about uh uh, 15 questions or, or, seven, or uh, 15 or 17 questions uh, uh, related to this okay so this is you know like kind of you know like really help even if it is only five questions i think it is still helpful uh, because once you write it okay you can have that for reference and then like you can proceed okay right so let me uh, look at the sequence uh, uh, here so i have the position p is uh, 16 w is 23 and f is uh, 6 Q is uh, 17, T is 20, K is 11, okay. Now, R is uh, 18, okay, and uh, Q is uh, 17, and P is uh, 16, okay. I think by now, you, you might have made a guess, okay. So, now, this is, you know, like uh, uh, 19, 19, and N is 14, and uh, this is U is 21, after that this is you know like like 20 uh, 11 and uh, 26 okay now after that the next one should be 21st letter okay there is increase of one okay so 21st letter that will be like u so u is the first letter unfortunately the answer choice all of them have u so next one must be uh, minus 3 so that should be the eighth letter okay so eighth letter is h eighth letter is h so you can just mark the answer and move on you can just mark the answer and move on now if you are curious about the third letter right so it is 6 11 16 21 26 after that it should be like uh, 26 plus 5 now 26 is the maximum you know like position so plus 5 means then you have to again start from a okay so 26 plus 5 alphabet e so u h e is the answer for the fourth question answer option one is the answer for the fourth question okay so derive the logic at the same time keep looking at the answer choice whichever you know like uh, is helpful just mark it and move on okay that's the fourth question now fifth question is a seating arrangement based question okay uh, it's a simple uh, seating arrangement based you know like uh, 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 question okay now so there are you know like uh, six people sitting in a row okay six people uh, sitting in a row now let's say uh, whatever is our left okay let that be their left as well okay let's say they're facing this side okay so they're, they're facing this side okay so let our left and their left be uh, same now it says uh, shreya and monica are in the uh, center okay so which means it can be like shreya and monica or monica and shreya okay so there are six people shreya and monica are in the center so it can be like shreya and monica or monica and shreya and gobi and uh, piyush uh, are at the uh, ends okay so gobi and piyush are of the ends means like gobi can be here uh, piyush can be here or it can be the other way uh, also okay so piyush this side and uh, uh, go be go be this side. So both ways it is possible. Okay. Now Mohan is sitting to the left of uh, Gobi. Okay. When you say Mohan is sitting to the left of Gobi, now Gobi cannot sit in the left extreme. Okay. Okay. Because it says like Mohan is sitting to the left of Gobi. So this left extreme uh, possibility for Gobi is ruled out. So Mohan is sitting to the left of uh, Gobi. So so M okay so Mohan 
Mohan is sitting to the left of uh, Gobi. So let me fix this position. So which means you have uh, Piyush uh, uh, here. Okay, right. Now Shreya and Monica. Uh, the position we don't know who is other person left out. Okay, so we have Rahul. Okay, so we know other uh, positions. Okay, though we don't know exact position for uh, Monica and Shreya. The question is not about them. It is question is about uh, who is sitting right of. Uh, Piyush, the so only person left out is Rahul. So Rahul should be sitting uh, here. Okay, so Piyush is sitting in the left end. Okay, and the right of Piyush is Rahul. So answer for this question is Rahul. Answer option four. Rahul is the answer for the fifth question. It's a seating arrangement based question. Another very easy question. Now sixth question, another visual based, you know, like uh, uh, question. I'm sorry, the last option. Okay, uh, it is not very uh, uh, clear. Uh, so the paper you know like it is folded uh, and you know like cut as shown in the figure uh, below and how will it appear uh, when unfolded okay now you should uh, unfold it in the same way as it was uh, folded okay so that will kind of uh, give you a clarity see one easy way to you know like arrive at the solution is now if you are cut like this now when you unfold what happens if you have a triangle like this here you will have a similar triangle on if you have a triangle on on the left when you unfold you will have a similar triangle on the right as well okay right and when you unfold you know like the next time with the same sequence okay now you will have a similar triangle okay uh, on the other two sides as well i'm sorry i'm you know, like i'm very bad at you know like a drawing okay so you will have similar triangle so you'll have like four of these uh, triangles okay so you'll have four of these triangles so which means option one and option three are straight away ruled out okay so they are straight away uh, ruled out option one and three so we are struck between option two and four okay now this you know like a uh, uh, cut okay if you unfold what will happen you this you have this line so you will have a similar line here right and you have this line so you have a similar line here and this slant line okay so you'll have a similar slant line here okay so which means you will get uh, this so they are see it is on this line right so this cut is on this line okay so which means it, it is it will be like a single uh, hole okay when you open okay it will be like a single hole so it will be this diagram now similarly when you uh, unfold so one side if you unfold okay one unfolding you will get this okay another for the next unfolding you will get this as well okay like i said you will get four triangles similarly you will get you know like uh, when you unfold it this also this cut whatever the single cut you get uh, you take that will be like four times and it will be together see here it is not together okay but it will be together because they are cutting on the line this line on this line okay on this fold or maybe on this fold because they are cutting on this fold okay there will not be any gap like here okay so it will not be there will not be any gap like here so option four is ruled out answer option two is the answer for the sixth question now question number seven another alphabet uh, based you know like uh, question uh, so you have you know like uh, small letters and capital letters and then you have uh, the alphabets uh, okay so again once again i'll draw the alphabet uh, position so i have uh, two here i have uh, five here then nine okay and then uh, i have n is 14 t is you know like uh, 20 so what is the sequence uh, i have the difference here is three difference is four uh, then uh, the difference is five then it is six so next must be seven so 26 plus seven that's 27 now 26th letter is z okay so what will be 27th letter that will be a that will be a and then 27 plus 8 okay that is a plus 8 uh, would be 9 a plus 8 would be 9 9 would be i okay so answer would be a and i and that too in small letters so you would have guessed by now why uh, on what basis they are going for capital letter and small letter see vowels they're going for a e i o u vowels they're going for small letters and consonants they're going for capital letters okay so a and i are vowels so we'll be going for small letters answer option three is the answer for question number seven okay so that's another very easy question now eighth question it is an analogy based question it's a meaning based analogy 
it's a very easy question france is related to football uh, okay the same way uh, bhutan is related to what okay in a sense it's an analogy based question but for someone like me it is a general awareness based question okay uh, because like uh, uh, general awareness it needs a lot of you know like lot of uh, preparation okay uh, so you, if you do if you do not some see some of the logic based you know like uh, if it is something like meaning based okay see it's it's more easy to crack in terms of analogy but it is something related to the general knowledge okay so then uh, it may not be comfortable for some of us okay so for france okay uh, football is the national sport or national game right and for bhutan it is archery for bhutan so it's about the national game okay so the analogy here is national game so national game of france is football and national game of bhutan is archery answer option 4 is the answer for the 8th question now ninth question it is a uh, syllogism based in uh, a question okay now for syllogism based you know like a uh, question okay you have statements and then you have like a conclusion and you know like uh, so sometimes you get like definite answers okay uh, so like uh, a particular conclusion definite that is if it is happening like at all times okay the conclusion is definitely uh, uh, true okay or the definite the conclusion definitely follow sometimes okay it may or may not follow or sometimes it will definitely not follow okay so there are multiple uh, possibilities okay so let us see what happens here so you have some vowels or digits uh, and some uh, some digits or consonants okay so let me try to figure it out here okay so uh, some vowels or uh, digits so i have vowels i have uh, digits some vowels or digits and the next one i have some digits or consonants now some digits or consonants i can draw it in multiple ways okay so i can draw like some digits or uh, consonants okay so some vowels are digits and some digits are consonants i can draw it this way okay or i can draw right so you have vowels okay and then you have like uh, digits some vowels are digits and then like uh, you have some digits are consonants it is also possible that when you say some digits are con uh, consonants it is also possible that it is overlapping with the vowels okay so there are two possibilities in the first possibility the consonant is overlap it's not overlapping with uh, vowels okay the consonant is not overlapping with vowel okay but in the second possibility it is po as per the given statement okay it is quite possible that the consonants and vowels can overlap okay now please remember before we go for the answering now if a conclusion has to follow it is it has to be true for both the cases okay it has to be true for any conclusion which has to follow it has to be true for both the cases only then the conclusion definitely follows okay so otherwise it may or may not follow now let me look at the first conclusion it says uh, no consonant is a uh, vowel see no consonant is a vowel it is true for the first case no consonant is a vowel is true for the first case but it is not true for the second case okay so it is uh, it may or may not be okay it is not definitely true it is not definitely true so it may or may not be it may or may not be it is not definitely uh, true it is not a definite conclusion now no digit is a vowel uh, no digit is a vowel now that's definitely false okay no digit is a vowel you can't say because in both the cases digits and vowels are overlapping in both the cases digits and vowels are overlapping so that this uh, second conclusion is definitely not true second conclusion definitely does not follow now third conclusion says some consonants are vowels okay so some consonants are uh, vowels now this again uh, it is it may or uh, uh, may not some consonants are vowels in the first case okay it is uh, uh, in, if you take the first case it is not true whereas in the second case it is true okay so here again it is not uh, certain okay so it is not certain it may or may not be okay so it is not definite so the answer here is either conclusion 1 or 3 follows okay so either conclusion 1 or 3 uh, follows it depends okay it depends on which particular uh scenario uh, is true okay so 
the answer for this question is a see why i because there is one more you know like uh, easy syllogism why i put this particular question is now this is a question where you have uh, an uncertainty you have an uncertainty there is no like clear cut you know like uh, conclusion that is being followed okay so that's why i took this particular question so there are actually two uh, uh, syllogism question and the other one was uh, now question number 10 it's a direction based uh, question so you have uh, so whenever you got a direction based question right even though it may be an easy question just go for uh, a direction guide okay so something like this or whatever is your convenient okay so north south east and the west this is more uh, you know like really uh, helpful now so you have shravan okay so uh, he hires a taxi from terminal uh, a so let me take this as terminal uh, a and then drives uh, 18 uh, kilometers towards north okay so drives 18 kilometers north uh, and then turns right okay uh, 40 kilometers so turns right okay 40 kilometers to reach junction y so let this be junction y and uh, and then you know like uh, he takes a left okay drives 15 uh, kilometers right uh, sorry this 40 kilometers he he reaches junction x and this uh, point is junction y and then finally he takes a left turn okay and uh, 40 so we know very well this 40 and this 40 uh, are you know like uh, parallel right and uh, so finally reaches b so if you walk or if you drive straight from a okay if you walk straight from a you get you know like b okay so that's obvious right and uh, so let me call this point z right now a to z okay so a to uh, z it is uh, 18 right so the question is what is the distance between a a and b right from a to z it is 18 and z to a now this dotted line that i have put okay now if this is 15 between x and y is 15 now between z and b also should be 15 okay so 18 plus 15 that's 33 answer option 3 33 km answer option 3 is the answer for question number 10 now question number 11 you have six uh, words that are given and we have to sort it like as uh, in the english dictionary that is we have to so sort it in the alphabetical order now for this also as i said uh, for the other alphabet question based uh, question a reference like this would be uh, helpful now if you look at uh, the six letters here the first two i mean six words here the first two uh, letters are common okay after that uh, the third letter is uh, you have n r u okay so the letters with uh, n would be uh, the first group of letters okay which is like uh, 1 2 and 6 uh, okay it can be i mean which order we'll just find out okay 1 2 and 6 and then uh, you have the third uh, uh, letter and then you have uh, m o u that can be like uh, the uh, last two okay so this is the position that uh, uh, we have okay now after now okay so let's just consider m o n the words starting with the m o n okay so you have like monster uh, monastery and then like monument so after n you have a here so monastery should come first so which means option 4 is ruled out okay so monastery should come first okay and then uh, so yes monster will come so you have two and then like one so this uh, answer option one is out okay so two one and then uh, you have uh, six monument okay and then of course three that's uh, fixed okay the fourth position then between uh, like a mountain and uh, uh, mustache okay so m o u after that n will come first and then only s okay so fifth will be the last so two one six three then 4 and 5 uh, uh, okay so answer option 3 is the answer answer option 3 is the answer for uh, this uh, question okay this is the sequence okay so 2 1 6 3 4 5 this is the right sequence okay and having uh, the alphabet position is helpful for this question as well question number 
11 answer option 3 now 12th question okay uh, so it is a uh, more of a quantitative aptitude uh, a question okay but uh, it was asked in this paper so i have included it uh, uh, here now uh, for this question uh, if you can refer to my percentage video the link is which i have given provided here that will be like more uh, uh, useful so amala is like 180 per, uh, the family income of amala is 180% uh, of uh, of the income of her husband uh, uh, Balu okay so Amala what when you say hundred percent means it's the same right so it, it is one time now, if you say 180 percentage it's like 1.8 times of her husband Balu okay and the income of Charu okay C is 150 times okay 150 time means like one and a half times so you can write like 1.5 of uh, Amala now the total income of uh, uh, Amala, ba Balu and Charu, okay, that is A plus B plus C is equal to 110,000, okay. Now what is Charu's uh, income, okay. So we want uh, Charu's income. So let us let me try to you know like write uh, A and B in terms of uh, C, okay. So now in which case now c equal to 1.5 i can write it as 3 by 2 a so i can write a is equal to 2 by 3 of uh, c so a i can write it as 2 by 3 c then i want b right so now a is equal to now 1.8 is 9 by 5 okay so 9 by 5 of b so b is equal to 5 by 9 of a okay and a is 2 by 3 of c so b is equal to 5 by 9 of 2 by 3 of c so which is 10 by 27 10 by 27 plus c so 27 is the common okay now this is 18 this is 10 and this is 27 okay now 110,000 so i have 55 by 27 c is equal to 110,000 uh, so 55 110 is like 2 so 2000 so c is equal to 2000 into 7, uh, 27 that's 54000 answer option 4 is the answer for question number 12 answer option 4 now question number 13 it's a coding decoding question if project is coded as a certain word how will modernity modernity will be coded in that language okay so now again let's go for the alphabet uh, uh, position so what we have here is uh, project so project is coded as p is coded as k r as i o as l and j as q e as uh, v and c is uh, x and you know like t is g okay now uh, the position here is 16 k is 11 okay r is 18 i is 9 o is 15 and l is 12 j is a uh, 10 q is uh, 17 and so on okay see if you look at uh, the total sum it comes to 27 okay for all these letters it comes to 27 now that means uh, if you write the same alphabets in the reverse order okay they will be in the same position that is for example if you write uh, from z to a a and z are in the same position right so let me just show that to you so a and z are the uh, same position d and w on the same position and so on so if you take p for example now p opposite to p you have k now opposite to r you have i that is in the same position you have i in the reverse order okay if you go from a to z wherever you have r in the same place you you have i when you come from z to a right so in the same way if you want to write modernity okay if you want to write uh, modernity then 
okay m opposite is n okay so the first letter is n so that means answer option 2 is uh, out okay so o opposite to o we have l okay so the fourth option it is out okay the fourth option is uh, out then opposite to d we have w okay that is in the same position the fourth letter from z is w fourth letter from a is d so it is n l w that's all you, you don't have to check for the others okay so n l w uh, v i m r g b is the code for modernity okay so they're just uh, same position in the reverse alphabetical order that's the logic here answer option 13 sorry answer question number 13 answer option 3 is the answer question number 14 another you know like uh, alphabet position based question okay so based on sequence we have d i k h m o l q uh, s p so we have to find what comes next in the uh, series so d is uh, 4 i is 9 k is 12 then uh, h is uh, 8 m is 14 o is uh, sorry m is 13 o is 15 l is 12 q is 17 r is 18 p is 16 okay so if you look at you know like uh, 1 4 7 and 10 okay you have like uh, 4 8 12 16 okay so that's the sequence then if you look at the next i m okay and then q after that it should be now here it is 9 9 plus uh, 4 is 13 9 plus 4 is 13 13 plus 4 is 17 and 17 plus 4 is 21 20 first letter would be u so answer is u for this sequence okay now with this the answer is the question is over but if you are looking for the next letter as well okay so k 12 plus uh, 3 is 15 15 plus 3 is 18 okay so like that you can check the sequence okay so the next letter is u answer is u for question number 14 now question number 15 now this is a uh, meaning based it's a meaning based uh, analogy now duck waddles okay now waddles is the movement of uh, duck right now so what is the correct uh, pair okay so as far as horse okay we know it is uh, horse gallops okay horse uh, gallops right and then uh, if you look at you know like trots it's for donkey and the answer uh, here you might know it immediately it is frog that leaves okay Fa parrot actually flits okay parrot flits donkey trots frog leap no we call it leap of a frog okay so the jumping of the frog that's called the jeep that is a leap that is the movement of the frog okay so duck waddles hall horse gallops likewise frog leaps that's answer option 3 it's a meaning based analogy for question number uh, 15 the answer is answer option 3 now question number 16 it's a relationship based uh, question right now whenever it comes to a relationship based question however simple the question may be it's better to draw you know like a, a, a kind of a hierarchical diagram which means uh, like for example you should have the people belonging to the same generation in the same position okay so in the lowest level you can have brother sister cousin etc in the next level father mother uh, uncle aunt okay and then on the top you know you can have grandfather grandson etc and that will give you a kind of a clarity okay so here uh, it says uh, in a family x and y are uh, siblings uh, p has two children and he's the son of g okay so x and y are siblings that's one relation so p has uh, two children and he is the son of uh, g so you have g okay and p is the son of uh, g p is the son of g who is the father in law of uh, j okay so that uh, 
father in law of j so j is there j is uh, father in law so we can say this is male okay male and uh, like uh, father in law and uh, j has only one son j has only one son y is not the granddaughter of g how is x related to g okay now it is given in a family okay and as far as g is concerned p is the son okay and j okay j is the uh I mean g is the father in law of j now though we cannot you know like uh, directly a uh, uh, kind of you know like uh, uh, conclude okay and it is also given like x and y are siblings and all that and it's a family and all that so we can based on what is given we can uh, kind of uh, arrive at a conclusion that uh, p and j are you know like a married couple okay so p and j are married couple so uh, p is the father and j should be the uh, mother and j has only one son now you have x and y they are siblings okay so x and y it's given a, they are uh, siblings okay and uh, so p and y uh, sorry p and j are the father and mother of x and y and it is given that you know like y is not the granddaughter of g now it's is also said that j has got only one son and if j, if y is not the granddaughter then x is the granddaughter okay x is the granddaughter and uh, y is the grandson okay so y should be the grandson and j has got only one son so that's y that one son is y right and uh, x is the daughter of uh, p and j x and y are uh, the children of p and j x is the daughter of p and j y is the son of p and j and you know like uh, x and y they are you know like grandchildren of g right now the question is how is x related to g now x is the granddaughter answer option 1 x is the granddaughter a very simple relationship based uh, question okay now because it is given family and all that and uh, uh, p is the uh, son okay so uh, and you know like uh, g is the father in law and all that so i am arriving uh, arriving at a conclusion that you know like p and j are you know like a married uh, uh, they are the married couple etc right so that particular point there is no direct uh, inference so answer option 1 16 is the answer I means uh, answer option 1 uh, is the answer for question number 16 now question number 17 now for these questions okay uh, what you have to do is so uh, uh, a figure is given uh, in as a question figure now you have to find okay in which of these four options this figure is embedded okay so what you have here is you have a a uh, line and then kind of a st slanting line and then it is rising uh, uh again and then okay so this uh, figure you have to uh, find out okay now now you have to have this uh, slanting line okay and then that l same line should rise okay now you have it in the second figure okay so you let me take this as a starting point okay so you have a straight line and then like a slanting line and then the slanting line is rising again and then straight okay and then it's like this okay sorry uh you can take this part this middle line you can ignore okay so this you have it has been embedded okay this middle line okay which is not there this figure okay so second question second option 2 is the answer for question number 17 okay so embedded now in this particular paper there are three questions based on this kind of embedding okay now question number 18 uh it says that uh, square represents mathematicians okay so now this is the square and this is the rectangle okay rectangle i mean triangle represents statisticians okay circle represents uh, architects and rectangle represents pathologists now which set of digits represents architects who are not statistician okay now who are architects Ar circle represents architects so circle represents uh, architects okay so circle represents architects now architects who are not statisticians okay 
now triangle represents statisticians okay so one two three four are architects but this four this four they are statisticians okay so triangle represents uh, uh, statisticians so but we don't want you know like statisticians okay so which means like it is one two and three that's uh, so this area is what we want okay except for this four which is part of a triangle so this one two and three is what we want answer option four one two and three is the answer for question number uh, 18 okay now question number 19 it's a mirror image based question see whenever it comes to a mirror image we just have to remember one simple rule now what comes on the left okay will be on the right and what is on the right will be on the left of course right and what is on the top in the mirror image okay what i mean what is in the original whatever is on the top it will remain on the top in the mirror image as well okay and whatever is on the bottom will remain in the bottom as well okay so we have to remember this right we have to remember this so which means which means okay now this m inverted m okay now that is definitely not your answer okay this m inverted m is definitely not your answer because what comes what is on the left will come to the right okay right so here the answer is the second option okay so m okay it should be like m should be here then uh, e okay that's in the reverse order and then like uh, uh, r right and then c should be inverted like this i mean uh, should be reversed like this and then you have u right and then uh, r again and then you have uh, y okay so this should be that now this is actually o okay but this is wrong otherwise it is all same so it is c in the uh, inverted okay so there is a reverse answer option 2 is the answer for question number 19 now question number uh, uh, 20 we have rational numbers whole numbers and real numbers so which one will represent uh, the uh, okay so this is something you know like uh, that is obvious answer option 3 is the answer okay so let me try to you know like uh, uh, explain this uh, first so let's have you know like uh, natural numbers natural numbers now natural numbers are like 1 2 3 etc okay now that's natural numbers right though in the question we don't have natural numbers i'll write natural numbers first then um, you have the whole numbers then you have the whole numbers whole numbers include 0 okay so 0 1 2 3 now 1 2 3 is natural numbers 0 1 2 3 is whole numbers then within whole numbers okay there is uh, then you have integers within integers only we have this whole numbers now integers means we also include the negative numbers okay so you have from from 0 1 2 3 9 we have we also have like minus 1 minus 2 etc we have now that's integers then we have rational numbers then we have rational numbers now rational numbers also include this p by q form okay 2 by 3 3 by 4 it includes you know like minus also like okay so minus 3 by 4 and all that okay so uh, rational numbers also include the i mean uh, the fractions okay p by q form then you have the real numbers then you have the real numbers right so in this diagram if you see the largest circle should be the real numbers okay and then you have the rational numbers and then smaller circle is the whole number answer option 3 is the answer for question number 20 now question number 21 okay so we have to find the miss missing letter cluster so we have been given a sequence so let us see what logic it is based on let's look at the uh, position of the uh, alphabets the alphabetical order o is 15 D is 4, S is 19, H is uh, 8, W is 23, A is 1, okay, and P is 16. Now, it is minus 11 plus 15, then 11 minus 11 plus 15, and the last one is like plus 15, right? 
so now 23 minus 11 is 12 12th letter is l now fortunately there is only one option starting with l so lwy is the answer just mark it and move on if you are curious about the next letter okay now m after one letter in between then o then one letter in between q okay then s then u okay and after u it, it should be like w there is one letter in between that should be w and so on anyhow you got the answer just mark it and move on answer option one is the answer for question number 21 question number 22 it's a coding decoding question you can also say it's an analogy uh, question based on the position of uh, letters okay so if magic is coded as uh, o w i uh, i e e how will enter be uh, uh, coded okay now le let me just look at uh, the numbers uh, for uh, m is 13 o is 15 a is 1 w is 23 okay now other way of looking at it is you can also look at a is tw as 27 okay now g is uh, 8 uh, i'm sorry g is uh, 7 g is 7 i is 9 and uh, i is 9 e is 5 and c is 3 i is 5 so what we have is plus 2 minus 4 that is if you have a here okay after z as per sequence it will be a right so if a is 27 and w is 23 right it is minus 4 right so in that way it is minus 4 so plus 2 minus 4 plus 2 minus 4 that's the sequence i is 5 okay i is 5 so plus 2 would be g anyhow all of them are starting g right not very helpful for us now n is 14 now 14 minus 10 is o 10 uh, i'm sorry for uh, i'm sorry n is 14 14 minus 4 is j okay so next letter is j so g j now only answer option 1 is starting i mean uh, uh, is having the second letter as g so g j i'm sorry uh, the second letter is j so only the first option has got the second letter as j so the answer is g j v a t is the answer okay so that should be the logical uh, sequence okay see the moment you you confirm an answer from the answer choice just mark it and move on okay right so as far as the letters are concerned okay the the logical sequence is plus 2 minus 4 plus 2 minus 4 uh, uh, i'm sorry plus 2 minus 4 and plus 2 minus 4 plus 2 minus 4 okay so that's the uh, sequence right so if you're curious t after that it will be like uh, uh, plus 2 that will be like v and so on right so answer is answer option 1 for question number 22 now 23 uh, it's a number based you know like operation based uh, uh, question now see as i said for the first question most often this division is the key but here if you see uh, among the given options also if you look at okay now 36 uh, right now 4 and 9 both can divide 36 is exactly divisible by both 4 and uh, 9 okay uh, so anyhow let's that is also there in the option okay so let us just try with that to start with then let's see uh, what happens okay so which means like i'll have 27 and 11 as it is okay into instead of 9 i'll write 4 and then minus 36 instead of 4 i'll write uh, divide by 9 okay now as per the Bodmos rule, division uh, comes first and then multiplication. So, 36 by 9, I'll write 4. And then 11 into 4, I'll write 44. And then 27 plus. So, 44. Uh, as per uh, the Bodmos rule, okay, addition first, 27 plus 44, that is 71. 71 minus 4 is 67, which is same as the right hand side here. So, answer is. Okay. Or for convenience, you can write 44 minus 4 is 40, 40 plus 27 is 67, whatever. Okay. So, answer for question number 23 is answer option 1, 4 and 9. If you interchange, you will get the correct uh, result on the right hand side. 
Now question number 24, it's a very easy uh, coding decoding question. If Monk is coded as 1498, Arj is, Arj is coded as 7653, what will gone be coded? You can just directly take it, okay? So G is coded as uh, a 5 here, okay? So you can write uh, 5. O is coded as 4, you can write 4. N is coded as uh, 9, you can take it 9. And E is coded as uh, 3, so 5493, answer option 1 is the answer for Question number 24, direct uh, inference. Okay, so the question is not required. Now, the last question, number series uh, based question. See, as far as number series is concerned, uh, most of the questions, okay, you can uh, take it as common difference based question, okay. Sometimes you, you can have questions other than common difference like uh, prime number series or the difference is prime numbers and so on, okay. So, this is now. Uh, in common difference okay if you look at you know like or even otherwise popular questions if you see you can get n square based uh, questions or n square plus or minus 1 n square plus or minus n these kind of questions you can get or another set of popular questions n cube n cube plus or minus 1 n cube plus or minus n etc or 2 power n based questions 3 power n based questions or multiply by 2 uh, and then like kind of a sequence okay multiply by 3 kind of sequence okay or you add for one terms you subtract for another term so these are the like kind of popular questions okay so here uh, the now let me take the given numbers uh, here i don't see any you know like uh, something obvious like you know like uh, n square n cube or whatever common popular ones i don't see anything obvious so let me just go for common difference so the difference here is 5 here it is 6 uh, here it is 14 uh, then you have like 41 then you have like 105 again nothing is obvious uh, maybe if i go for one more level of common difference i see one here uh, then you have eight then you have 27 then you have 64 now this is like one cube two cube three cube four cube now let me check you know like uh, five cube next which is 125 then 105 plus 125 that's 230 then 172 plus 230 now that's 402 now 402 i have answer option 3 okay so 402 is the answer for question number 25 okay right so with this uh, i come to the end of this uh, video though there are 50 questions i have taken uh, like uh, uh, sample questions from each type and i have solved the 25 questions uh, i hope this video was useful to you uh, i wish you all the very best uh, for your uh, exams and uh, if you like this video please click on the like button and share it with your friends who may need it and uh, if you have not already subscribed to our channel please do subscribe and if you have any uh, uh, questions okay you can post your or if even if you have any difference of opinion or you have an alternate method you can share it uh, in the uh, comment section below or if you want me to solve any specific question also you can ask in the comment section below or you can if you have any screenshot you can maybe post it uh, in in the uh, instagram uh, handle okay uh, the instagram handle is also given in the uh, description okay you can just you know like uh, or you just type in learning about you will find the instagram uh, handle okay so you can uh, post your questions there uh, like uh, uh, like as quickly as possible i'll try to uh, uh, respond okay thanks for watching the video have a great day